Good evening. It's April 11 already. And I'm an hour late again because my, all my systems were updating and rebooting and more like that. So let's quickly start the show. I believe um, every little system on my PC had an update. Visual Studio had an update. Visual Studio Preview had an update. I believe .NET 9 is in preview now. And before you know it, we're an hour ahead again. And I need to start my VM. Well, it was already started, but it also rebooted. So let's check if that's um, available right now. On the other screen. I'm always wondering what side is the other screen. You see the big pile of books there? Wow. All office extensibility books. Um, let's connect to the VM. How are you all doing today? One more day and then it's weekend. Download the RDP file. Open the file. What screen? Yes, that screen. Get the super secret password. Maybe you can read it in my in my glasses, but it's always two factor authentication, so it should be good. Let's move to the code window. Probably will take some time to boot here. So what we want to do is um, prepare the um, the code that we built the last couple of weeks and prepare that for a repo, for a pull request, as you'd say. So that means some chill things like documenting and um, selecting the files to put in the repo. Teams is automatically starting here. If GitHub is still logged in, yes, it is. Some interesting things may be here. PS Code is probably also updated. Let's try to check that. Uh, I still need to update my PowerShell as well. Upgrade now, check out the release page. <laughs> Let's see how we do that. Cool. It's been some time ago already. Update PowerShell terminal. Win get upgrade PowerShell. Win get update PowerShell. Oh, what? 
Good evening, FJ0407. How are you doing today? Uh, let's see. AK.ms slash PowerShell. No. AK. AK. Huh? Okay. HTTPS. AKA dot MS slash PowerShell. What? Oh, is that not recognized in here? HTTPS. AKA dot MS slash PowerShell. Download and installation. Question which PowerShell do I have installed because there are multiple ones. There's one Azure PowerShell. And what was it complaining about? It was 741 so that must be this one the powershell this one yes install windows I think I already did this, but a new version was found, but the installed technology is different. So what's the technology I used here? Not Winget, maybe this one, 64 bits. I'm good. I'm and you? Yeah, me too. I'm a bit late because of I'm because of all the updates. But next. Next. Add PowerShell to yes. Rest to yes. Enable PowerShell remoting. Disable telemetry. Open here. Enable PowerShell through updater, yes. No clue how I installed it the first time. I need to close this, obviously. No retry option. Close the application to try to attempt to restart them. There's nothing to do with what we plan to do here. Magic. Oh. Finish. Let's open terminal again. Let's have a look if it's now. Yes, that's good. So update my notes there that that was done. I'll even find my notes on that again. Okay, that's done.
and now open v studio here oh the thing i wanted to do first was um, data repos just to get in one of them like see soft as a software soft as a software and code dot just to see if there's an update with the studio code yes I trust myself Git repository was found. Yes. Uh, let's see if we get an update here. Check for updates. Yes, there's an update. This is going to be update television tonight. tonight. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, oh, restart with studio right now. Then we can have a look here. Twenty eight. Okay, check for updates. Okay, extensions, app service updates. Restart. Changes. Why is that not checked in? That's interesting. Close that. Uh, have a look here. Pint. That's the website. That's the add-in. And this is the other one. 215, 215. Is it all 215? This is newer. So let's have a look at this one at least. This is the Excel add-in with the um, add-in commands. Let's see if the branch is having changes there. It should be zero. I think it's still zero. It changes. Let's close all the pages here. But I do need to check here is if um, the telemetry is enabled again. Solution items there. Should be some telemetry in stuff in here. That is enabled. That's good. So this should be copy. Version three. What are we today? April. Not April first, otherwise no one will believe that these things have been updated in a good sense. 
Let's make that 11. Demos, JavaScript, and um, C sharp intro from the ribbon. Let's see if we have things like a 2023 in here somewhere, maybe. That's good. You add in Blazor context, key part of the sample, Blazor pages. Fundamental pattern includes the following steps. JS runtime invoke async to set up intro between C sharp and JavaScript. Use JS module invoke void async. That's a little bit different in the um, adding commands. So let's run this and well, let's first have a look at the changed, changed files here. It's only the readme. That's good. So run this. F5. That should kick in Office. I wonder if Office has been updated as well. I did not check that. It's building. No, it's not building. F5 again. I was thinking about uh, putting something on the screen where you could see my key presses, but um, I'm kind of afraid that if, if I'm typing things like passwords and things that will also be exposed on the uh, on the screen there. And that's not what we want to do. Why is it throwing a dialogue there? Is that new? Feels like it's doing something in the back of the system. What? Following error occurs as dev search tool. Okay. Still doing things. And still running. So apparently the developer certificates have been updated as well. So what do we have here? Like the tabs and we have these buttons. So 
to make a screenshot of that. Well, let's maybe make this smaller first so that we can. Well, that one's not getting over there. No. Screenshot. Where does it go? Nowhere. Things behind this one. Where did my screenshot go? Or maybe it's uh, not my snagged screenshot, but it's creating a new one from here. Let's test that. See, put it up. Did put it on a um, clipboard. Control Shift V to paste the text without formatting. Control Alt V for format. Okay. This was not what I intended to do, so don't save this. By the way, let's also check in here file while we still have this open update update now it has an update okay and now i'm not able to go yeah we can go back and i need to select my other desktop there and f5 this is bringing in the other one Yes, that's better. Where will it end up? Which screen? This one. So I need to export the picture there. my dialog there where shall we put that for now and then block out maybe live coding live coding and what's it called A ribbon um Adding command. So twenty twenty four oh four eleven. Let's save that. Let's see if the task plane is working. That's working. Name index. That's working. Is a name bubble. The difference between these is that the source of the. Oh, it's trying to close my Excel. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. That will terminate my debugger as well. So what I was saying that the difference between these two is that one of the functions is on the page of the index razor file. 
that's this one. The other one is on the blazer, the, the bubble chart page, that's this one. Let's see if it's finished already. Updates are installed. Okay, close. Let's check if there are. Oh, it's also restarting Excel again. So that's not what I intended to do, but so let's close that. Delete. Book one dot Excel B. Why is that creating a binary file? I was testing this account update update now and we are updated what's the update here we are version 2405 the beta channel that's good let's run this again and now to the end I wonder who decides where it's getting there. In Vista, you could actually give a point to where you wanted to put it in the what order. So let's look look that up. Google manifest. Dot XML button and uh, tab order or tab ordering maybe this JS. That's a custom tab. Let's click away the marks for build because I'm unable to attend to that. Let's see manifest reference. So if you don't already know the is there is a manifest file in here that actually contains all the information for the ribbon and the groups used in there. So you have your custom tab and then an ID. Primary command service is the main office ribbon. So what other extensions points do we have there? Manifest. Dot, well, maybe just to duplicate the other one, other tab there. Duplicate tab and then search for extension points. We accept all cookies on this machine. And the extension point element in the manifest file now we have an attribute required and the options here are primary command service palette for word excel powerpoint and onenote that's the ribbon in office uh, we have context menu and custom functions Con context menu is that's basically a right click that's not what we are looking at here, a custom function. So we are basically bound to this one. And we have the options to use custom tab or the office tab. And in this case, we are using custom tab as we specified our own thing there. I 
probably also need to rename the label there. That should be a little bit better. Let's have a look at the st strings used in here. So we have the buttons, task pane button, function button one, function button two, function button three, function button four. And we have group label, group label, group label, three groups. That's these three groups, task pane, text, and bubbles. And we have the custom tab label. So if we order this like so, we have the tab. Then we have the groups. And then we have the buttons. But we also have a getting started text here. And let's call this one sample adding. Group label task pane, text and bubbles. Uh, that's good. And show task pane, insert name. should be from index, but let's show if that fits right JavaScript. I think this one gets in there from the commands. Let's check that. So we have um, this one right JS. That's used in here. But we have a label and we have a title, tooltip title. So if we have hover over it, that's the same text. Click to run a function. this one so the first one is insert from index click click to insert text from index page On bubble page, bubble chart, as you'd say, then the right JS is what we were looking up here. That's actually running the right value. That's on the command JS there. This one. That's the associate, and that's the reference point in the XML. So this one is actually getting the information from command. commands.js insert text from commands.js 
Now we have function four. That's the bubbles thing, I think. That's running. That's calling create bubbles. Create bubbles. If we go to the commands there. Create bubbles. That's this one. That's invoking create bubbles on. I think the bubble chart page. This one. It's invocable again. Um, manifest here. Click to run. Click to. Oh. Click to run. Create bubbles. From the bubble chart page. Description, your sample add-in. Load it successfully, go to the home tab. That's not right anymore. That should now be go to the what's the name of the tab? Sample heading. I click show task pane. Is that still called show task pane? Yes. Button to get started. This one, get started with your sample add-in. Sample add-in. Task pane, text bubbles, show task pane, insert name from index, write JS bubbles. Then learn more. That's the, let's see if the link is still working. start to learn more URL. So what's interesting here? That it filters it by office. Should be okay. Remote app URL, that's the URL itself. Keep those in for later reference, I think. URL. Use the desktop function URL. I 
think there's some explanation on this as well on the top here. Let's give it a bit more space there. Use the office tab. Use office tab to extend the existing tab. Use custom tab to create a new tab. To create a new tab. Here's a shared shared URL. That's the shared runtime. Let's have a look at that. Shared runtime requirement sets. We are using Excel here at least. So that's now set to 1.1. Let's search for default min version. Requirement set name, Excel API, OneNote API, Mailbox, PowerPoint, and Word API. Excel API is 117 in here. I uh, see a requirements element earlier in the artic article. Use the requirements element. Try to find what are the latest versions used here. Default min version. Excel looks like API is now one one seven. We were on twenty four something. Excel JavaScript API requirements one dot nine. That's this one. Seventeen, I think that's what we used. Yes, shared runtime one dot two. We have a one one and one dot two. Shared run runtime one two adds Office before document close notification interface. Which helps ensure that the Word document, Word books, don't close while an add-in processing is running, and this is only supported in Excel. That is somewhat annoying if the, if there's a difference between each of these software packages, like Word or Excel, or in this case, Excel is able to uh, track the close document and word is not
So let's keep it at um, 1.2 for, no, yeah, for the shared runtime. Then we have the dialog API. Don't think we actually use that in this sample, but. Dialog API. There. The dialog API 1.1 is the first version of the API, the requirement set. 1.2 adds support for sending data from the parent page to the dialog within the Office Dialog Message Child method. For details about these APIs, see Dialog API reference. Mailbox, mailbox. No specific mention here of which one um, of the dialog things, but at least 1.2 is the highest. That's what I see here, adding commands. Create adding commands with the unified manifest. Manifest the unified one is, I think, the um, the JSON version. Ah, getting sleepy already. It's just 10 p.m. Dialogue wise, the adding commands requires that this one. There's a version 1.3. Again, this one is only valid for PowerPoint. That's what I see, I think. Um, So there's adding commands one that one requirement set to set introduce the ability to auto open a task pane with documents. Adding commands one dot three requirement sets set introduces manifest. Let's also have a look at that quickly. Set introduce manifest markup that enables the an add-in to customize this placement of the custom tab on the office ribbon so that's what we just discussed and to insert building office ribbon controls into custom control groups and this time it's only powerpoint is only one supporting this again there's a mismatch between powerpoint word and excel Hi Diederik, how are you doing today? So 1.3 is only available for PowerPoint. That's what it seems to be doing saying here. So that means we have 1.1 1, 1 and 1.33. So what happened with and it adding commands 1.2? That probably failed or something and then they uh, decided to pull that back. Or maybe it's somewhere in the back end that's not available for us right now. <laughs> that's interesting, it's my own blog post, let's have a look. 
Let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Fixing Outlook 2016, that's old. APIs. That's an old blog post. Okay, so let's keep that in for here at 1.1. One, one. That's 1.3 one is not working. So let's have a quick look also to the auto open here. How is the auto open feature different from inserting a task pane? Best practices should not be uh, using the auto open on task pane because you can imagine if you have like 10 task panes installed or I should say add-ins each of the add-ins would be using the auto open that would mean that you with your excel would automatically get 10 of these items in a row let's see if I can it's still opening one but if you have multiple ones like this one so if I open this one and there is you. Oh, this one is actually switching now. Oh, but you get a sidebar is what I see. This one is mine and that's the other one. That's good. But that's a little bit better than it used to be. Oh, script lab has an update. Let's update that. Let's see what's happening there. installing an update apparently working on script labs resiliency and stability to pro provide a, ro a robust development tool we we've removed script labs github integration what that was the best part of script lab migrated to a new cdn or maybe it's not about the snippets uh, snippets you've saved in script labs should automatically transfer to the updated version you may sideload the previous version of the script lab until may the first let's copy that link here copy and i need to put that in my notes let's click on that This was just released by Alex. Alex. Script Lab is popular add in. Thank you for using Script Lab. So it's, the good news is that they actually, actually actively are working on this because it has been on hold for some time, I guess. Build office add-ins for Outlook training. Who is doing that? Oh, that's on learning. Let's copy that as well. Copy. For me to look at. So let's go back to the auto open thingy. How is the auto open feature different from inserting a task pane? When a user launches add-ins that don't use adding commands the add-ins are inserted into the document and persist in that document as a result when the users open the document they are prompted to install the add-in and the task pane opens the challenge with this model is that in many cases users don't want the add-in to be persistent in the document that's what we just mentioned for example a student who has a dictionary add-in um, in a Word document, might not want to their classmates or teachers to be prompt to install that add-in when they open the document. With the auto open feature, you can explicitly define. This is interesting because this is also part of the um, the Fisto 
Is there a book somewhere of me reading that before? So the auto open feature is currently supported in the following products and platforms. Word, Excel, PowerPoint and platforms on Office for Windows desktop, Office on Mac and Office on the web. Best practices use the auto open when it will help make an adding user more efficient. Um, usually you don't use it by default. Don't use the feature to pin multiple task panes. You can only set one task pane of your add-in to open automatically with the document. So what do we do there? Step one, specify the task pane to open. Where is that set? Because this one is the action show task pane. Because we do have that in place somewhere. Where's the task pane? Task pane. Task pane mode integration. This uh, section used if there are no version overrides. Task pane, task pane. Here, this is the control that actually has the action show task pane. That's this one. Task pane ID is the button ID. It's interesting that we have this like button ID. Uh, that's not even used so let's rename that a little bit task pane id that's the sample sample and in Task pane ID. ID. I see the second one, the D is with lower caps. Uh, the source location, that's the resource ID and then the URL. Shared URL in this case. Because we have shared runtime. Provide the URL a resource ID for the location that will be displayed on the task pane. In the task pane. Displayed on the task pane. Or maybe it's on the task pane. I don't know. And then it will open this specific page for the task pane. That's remote app URL. And as it is a Blazor application, it will automatically load the index.razor file. set cell a1 something let's see if that's still working okay let's go to mine here set cell a1 to the value hello world and it, that's still working using javascript intro between blazor and the office javascript api that's that's working that's the same page again. The bubble chart. We can do it either manually by first creating a table and then creating the bubble chart. But if we throw this out again, delete, then clear everything on the sheet here. From here, go to custom table and now press the bubbles button. Now it's done automatically in one run because you have the chart selected that also enables the chart design chart design uh, menu it's 
so that works. Now go back to the auto open information here. It says use the office.js setting set method to set office auto show task pane with document is true. Copy. Use OpenXML to tag the document. You can use OpenXML to create or modify a document and add appropriate open of the XML. Subsidized, subsidized trust, subsidized rust lab. Hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer promotion to your channel, viewers, followers, views, chatbots, etc. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed to be the best, flexible and convenient order management panel, channel panel. Everything is in your hands. A huge number of custom settings. Go to stream rights. Shameless plug. Um, let's see, what is this, the web extension? There's a property there. You can use OpenXML to create or modify a document and the appropriate OpenOffice XML. Yeah, but then you have to put it in, in the OpenOffice format, I think. That means you need to create, open the file with the OpenXML SDK, and then you can internally bring in some of this information there, making it to open automatically. Use the setting set method to set off Office Auto, uh, how to show task pane with document to true? What if you put that to false? Automatically open a task pane when an add-in is installed. Is installed or is being installed? You can configure your add-ins task pane to launch immediately after it's installed feature increases usage so if you have a new installed one then it will automatically pop up your screen there Taskpane commands, new behavior, action, show taskpane. Designate the taskpane as a default. Add taskpane ID element as the first child action. And set its value to office auto show taskpane with document. didn't do that so does that mean that if i close this i think it, if i close this it will also shut down the debugger This is now stopped, I think. Yes.
So if I start this again, it will be considered to think install again because you now get this, get started again and it automatically opens. So what happens if I open another Excel here? Now I get the same thing, sample add in here. But now it's not opened automatically. Question is, if we set that to auto open, will it also auto open when we create a new Excel here? Let's, let's have a look. Uh, that's something that we can force in. Designated task pane as the default, ta add a task pane ID element as the first child, set its value to office show task pane with document. Where is the task pane? There's the task pane. opening got it now let's open a new one it is not doing that but we can do this Maybe you need to um, remove the cache here. Don't save. Don't save. We did name that show task pane that's here. Task pane ID office out of show with document. Shift function to show task pane. If you want your add in automatically launch whenever the user reopens the document, you need to take further configuration steps. For details and advice about this feature, automatically opens the task pane with the document. configure the task pane to open immediately when the add-in is installed but not necessarily when the document is opened later see automatically open the task pane when the add-in is installed that's what we just have been looking at that's this thing
best practices. Implement the auto open feature. Specify the task pane to be open automatically. Check the document to automatically open the task pane. So this is the first part. That's what we have in place. To tag the document to automatically open the task pane. In one of two ways, pick the alternative that works best to see your scenario. Use the Office GIS setting method to set the Office auto task pane with document to true. As shown in the following example. Use this method if you need to tag the document as part of your add-in interaction. For example, as soon as the user creates a binding or chooses an option to indicate that they want the pane to be open automatically. You can use open XML to create and modify a document and add appropriate Office XML markup trigger to open to trigger the auto open feature. See open XML embed add-in. Add two open XML parts to the document. That basically means that if you that you need you to do something like so, it's still running. No, it's mills not running anymore. So F5. I think there is a sample somewhere as well on the repo. Let's clean up a little bit. I want to put everything in the zones, otherwise it's not properly displaying on your screen. Um. So it's going to like GitHub. And I guess there's someone, some sample in here. Add in commands. Load and write open XML. So that's a signature set auto open off. There's the auto open task pane thing. That's in the sample auto open task pane. If we have a look at the preview, can we do that? Preview here. Set auto open on, set auto open off. Task pane automatically opens with this document. Configure the task pane to auto open when the document is opened. So what are the changes? This is the auto open task pane with document. That's the first part that we have in place. Then we have two functions. Set 
auto open on zout is het auto open off show notification show notification i guess is a different function again add-in installation requirement your add-in must already be installed by the users for the auto open feature to work if they open a document that they don't have uh, add-in installed the setting is ignored so that means that uh, so we can keep that in for here that link this one commands I want to have the auto open feature here there copy settings auto open task pane This is not working as apparently for Excel. The present PowerPoint is the only one that allows to do that. And for that, what would you need to set in PowerPoint? API to select slides, text ranges, and shapes within the presentation. For more information, see on port 5. No, it is what's not what I was looking for. It's looking for adding commands. So 
Church. Group element in manifest associated with the requirement sets adding commands. The chart element is supported only in PowerPoint. Child elements, label, icon control, office control, PowerPoint, office control represents one of the built-in office control can be zero or more support, supported only in PowerPoint add-ins, office control. Child elements only supported in that's this one. Because that means if you open PowerPoint, is there a superscript tab somewhere? Superscript. Associated with these requirements set as in the child element is supported only in PowerPoint. Interesting that, that this element is only supported, but it's now oh, that's this one. Optional, but if not present, there must be at least one control. Include one or more built office controls in the group with office control elements. Also add more. The ID attribute specifies the ID of the built-in office control. To find the ID of a control, see find the IDs of controls and control groups. tool to report back yeah it's pointing to the documentation again so in order to remove unsupported control control ID so only PowerPoint has the Ribbon IDs apparently. Ricky one, hey man, keep it up. Make more tutorial about how to contribute to open source. Um, is that in the context in general or in the context of the Office add-ins? Because there is an explanation for that as well in the context of the Office add-ins. Um, and that's quite uh, generic, I think, contributing. Project welcomes contributions, blah, blah, blah. Sample guidelines. Check for existing samples, so you need to first check that, and then if you have a tracking thing, 
that specifically for this repo. And then name the solution, add your code to a pull request, fork the repository. That's basically this is basically the full step system, and it's also explaining what you need to take into account. This from Stack Overflow is clearly attributed. So if you put some sample code in, also put the link in then in your code referencing that. Any code that is associated documentation documentation displayed in the IDE, such as IntelliSense and JavaScript code as code comments, class methods, parameters, and stuff you have done. You can read it on your own. Additional guidelines, um, how to work with GitHub, that's with GitHub remote, set up your remote thing. In this case, it's about the office add-in sample thing. Then uh, check out your new branch. That's what we already did with ours, which you can see in here. This is the branch. And my name, Blazor add-in commands. That has currently now two changes compared to the original one. The readme and the site loader that we changed. So this documentation can be used as here is the text tutorial 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 maybe it is a good slash great idea to create a video around around this turn you're right, let's um, take a note there again. Create a video on how to contribute to GitHub repos. So let's copy that again, copy the link and bring that in my notes there there's a mosquito flying in the room that's annoying so that's um the contributing thing there's a powerpoint can, can close that as well Let's have a look here what the changes are. See if it's still working. PowerPoint, we can close that. We can close the control. Let's check if this is if we refresh this PowerPoint is updated. Oh, we now have two. What? Come on. That's annoying. Make another note there and clean up all PowerPoint, no, not PowerPoint, um, PowerShell versions. Update to latest version for Windows and Terminal. Let's kick that out as well. What do we open, open more here? We check the minimal versions, the extension points we checked, the resources we checked, more resources. Depend the bot. OK, 
Okay. Let's check the changes here. Close all the tabs there. Close the README. Oh, we still need to update the README as well. Some good information. This is already 11, 10, 10, 11, 10, 10, half past 10. Um, let's check the loader here. That should all be good. Let's push this in. Or let's go to the word version first. Um, open the studio again. In the meantime, we do a final run of Excel here. Sample it in, got it. Close that. Show task pane. Hello world. Insert name from index. Insert name from bubble. Write something. Now we have a bubble sheet. It's all working. Hello world here. That's still working. Bubble charts. Read table. Read bubble chart, that's also still working. A.04. Dot net. List. Run times. 804, that's still the latest version. List. That's the case. Oh, oh. That's interesting. This should not be code, that should be dot net. Dot net. At least that's the case. Eight zero one oh four and two oh four. Let's go back to the control again. Okay. Looks like we have an old one and a new one. This one can go. Should clear out the old version. One of them was installed by the um, outside dot studio apparently. Uninstall successfully completed. Now it's gone. That's good. Now the other one is. Runtimes. That's still 804, 7, 18, and 6. We have three versions here, but not the 9 version. Let's have a look at um, install here. Let's see if the dot that 9 version is in here as well. That's on the preview and I'm not on the preview version on this machine. If I do that on my other machine. Install. Now the question is where does the installer end up? Here. Oh. 
test this one. We just updated this one as well. I clicked here, but nothing happens. Well, let's have a look at that in a different time zone. in snap 35 New York Times 16 stream stream at what time New York time is 17 is 5 p.m. Otherwise, tomorrow. Let's see if I get some answer there. Um, sorry for the interruption because I had a little thing there to do. So this can go, this can close. Read me, I will adjust that after the stream, though, so don't save. This one is the word one. Open. So here, close that. But let's check this in first. Update it. Because this will also show in the word version, I think. It's like two, yeah. Updated final Excel checks. Read me still open to finalize. Finalize. Commit all and sync. That should update this for um, GitHub at least. So if we go to my repo there, to my the fork, then go to, well, it's already showing there. Just check this samples. Blazer or something. Blazer there. So, and the side loader manifest there. So we should see here, but it 
start screen. There's the comment, so this properly inserted there. tomorrow So wait that a little bit. Um, so we did successfully commit. So this is the Excel one. So we can close that. Now we have to go into the Word version. Same thing. Let's close a lot of these things there. Close that. Let's keep this one at hand, so we might be using that a little bit. So this is now back to zero. This is the word blazer add-in. Do the same thing, go to the XML here and check the information. There's another one that I would need to check, is the... Um, Let's open that again. That's the, um, the, what's it called? Logging information. Just part I think of the README there. I said PMP telemetry copy. Search for that. It's in here, and this is see this is still I need to fix that as well. Save. So close this because we will surface in the word one as well. Find that telemetry. That's good. Good place right in. This is needs to be. Enabled again, save. These are adding the run. So we have a run version and we have um, a read version.
This one is also the run version, but then for Excel. Yes. Quick look at the labels there. This is the Excel version, I think. No word. So and that should be three, because the other one should also be three. Because we updated the document documentation as well. Drop tab. Version. There's no version in here. version oh this index.html so that's not the right one let's open once more as the excel add-in That should be three. Save. Okay, close that again. Once more. Now go to the README for Word. Side loader. No, the README, I should say. Um, let's see, that's somewhere here. Well, we can pick that up from the website. There. Where's the readme file? There. Look at it raw. So we add this one. Copy. And go to the word thingy there. XML file. Three in here. Copy. Copy. Let's see how that is looking.
Okay, so let's wrap this up for now. Let's making minor changes. Still need to finalize. Read me and checks before we are. Let's all sync and push. Save and commit. Check uh, Google. Is that MST? Time. Okay, so quickly need to wrap this up. Um, thanks for watching everyone, uh, because I have to get into a call in about five minutes. Um, where is my master screen? There's the master screen. So quickly, thanks for watching. It was late already and um, I have to leave it quite in a hurry um, because I have a call coming up. Um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, follow and whatnot. And hope to see you uh, next Tuesday, I guess. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.